And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good, you're not going to have to vote. But they do, for what they you don't do. understand the cost of they, it because they're inefficient. In the, in the Hebrew religion, uh, they wait for wow. the Messiah to come. Wow. So the Messiah, Moshe ben David, if you take their name, written, so you see where it adds up, 424. If you take your name, Donald Trump, and then there's your name, it adds up to 424. It's, a one, it's, it's something that is very, very unbelievable. Yeah. unbelievable. What does that mean? It's, it's like, you have the same numbers than my Messiah, you know? <laughs> Meaning, yeah, it's like not good. It's like best. It's like it's like it's like miracle. <laughs> it's like name of Messiah. You know? That's the, that's his name, Messiah. The Messiah comes down to four twenty-four. What are the numbers you have? No, no, it's not the numbers. Exactly the number. Your name, and the numbers, it adds up to his name. It's four twenty-four, four twenty-four in the Jews. So it's like Messiah is the person that's come to save the whole world. So it's like you're the savior of being. That's for you, it's amazing. We, we just thought that we're like, wow! <laughs> it's amazing, you know. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. <laughs> so, all, 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 all Jew people of Ukraine, they're praying of you, you know. They're, they're like, <laughs> show it to Jared. He'll explain. <laughs> Mr. President, can I share with them about what the rabbi gave to you? I think it's special. Since you since you're Jewish, you understand the Messiah. So the head rabbi of Ukraine and Israel, they took the president Donald Trump his name, and they came out with the same lettering as the Messiah. So it's a very special thing that they had in the Lord's hand. So my my father, the same number, you know. It's amazing how how it's, how it's count, you know. Really, they were very close to the It seems obvious to me that on Shabbat, July thirteenth. In Butler, Pennsylvania, and in front of the eyes of the entire world, God's voice was heard loud and clear to anyone whose ears were open, and he chose the second non-Jewish Messiah to be of service to the Jewish people and the Jewish Messiah. President Trump's right ear was grazed in a symbolic gesture of Exodus 21.6, where the Torah states that a servant who wants to remain with his master needs to have his right ear pierced. Trump was designated as God's servant and anointed one just like Cyrus the Great almost 2,400 years ago. This is also a president who, throughout his campaign, pledged uh, that the United States would be a, a, what he would call a better friend to Israel, more supportive of Israel. Obviously, former President Barack Obama largely criticized by many for that. He did go to the Western Wall when he was a sitting senator, not though as president. And on his first trip, President Obama, to the Middle East, he did not go to Israel, which is notable. And this president is going there directly from Saudi Arabia, which is also notable, as he walks by himself up to the Western Wall. Let's listen. All right, it looks like we lost that shot, which is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why, you want to be worth something? <laughs> 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 something.